Okay, continuing with part so two. We are not looking uh, for just the interest return on our investment. We are looking for some additional earnings. And as I say, these, these can be made from either royalties or per product sold, um, or a, a, a could be an outright commission on or, or a percentage of profits earned. But they're generally related to the actual success of the business. So if the business doesn't succeed, we wouldn't get any part of that uh, extra, uh, what should I call it, uh, uh, additional income right. from that investment. But, and you, to answer your question, the investments currently are generally in the region of one or one or two hundred thousand dollars, but we do have some some companies where we've invested six, seven hundred thousand, and there's even one that, which is a million million dollars. Now, so the, the investment could be quite large, and in in different circumstances, the investment could be that we would actually take a position in that company for a period of time. Right. So in other words, we might have an actual holding of shares for, let's say, five or ten years, perhaps. Mm -hmm. um, as I say, or it could be a, a, an, an extra reimbursement based upon profits or products sold. Um, what else was I going to say about the fund? I mean, in the way that your venture capital, your 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 terms are going to be more expensive than a bank. I mean, I, I've heard you say, yes, uh, yes. Uh, in one way, shape, or form, you almost yep. want to double your money. And in that sense, yes. a company that's looking to get quickly to market, that has research and development, that has technology, yep. that's a smaller company. Yep. Uh, let's say, under, I think your parameters are under 30 employees and under $5 million that's in sales, correct. is that correct? Yes. That's, a, that's a parameter established by the state, and you're right, it's uh, less than $5 million in revenue and less than 30 employees, yes. Okay. And it's about all total it's about $22.5 million, which yes. you've given some out, but you're aggressively marketing and looking we for companies that fit your profile. Because we feel that there are, there are some companies out there that maybe are not aware of our program um, and, and need financial help, and uh, it's just uh, we, need to find, uh, we need to find where they are. <laughs> And to wrap up, what's the best way, if a company has listened to this or they've gotten information on ESP and they said, well, you know, I, I want to talk more about it or I want to get more details, okay. what should they do? What's the next step they should take? Well, they can either contact the Dayton Development Coalition direct or they can visit our website, which is DaytonRegion.com, um, and they can actually fill out an application there. There's an, an online application they can fill out and email it to us. It's a substantial document that runs maybe into anything from eight to eight to fifteen pages. Uh, information about your company, information about your product, uh, information about your market and uh, how that product fits into the market, what research you might have already done, um, information about your employees, what type of employees do you have, do you have R and D employees uh, as well as production workers. Um, so you can you can either visit our website or call the Dayton Development Coalition direct. Um, I have an email address which is J Houston. It's at H O U S T O N. Uh, so at J Houston is all one word at DaytonRegion.com. And my telephone number is what is it two or <laughs> it's 937-229-9076. And I'm cheating, John, yeah. because I'm looking at your business card. Uh, well, hey, I appreciate it. I understand you have a lot of experience in a lot of different yeah. areas, uh, including having worked at uh, NCR and managed your own company and done a lot of various things. I think we're, we're lucky to have you. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much for the opportunity.